<laughs> Alright, it says there's music, but... I don't hear anything. I can't believe the necropolis is so empty now that the army is defeated. What'd that say? Okay, well, I'm gonna leave it on. I cannot believe how much power you and the other heroes of Falcon Reach have when you work towards a common goal. I had a great time stomping those skeletons into the ground, I just wish there had been more. Artix, we've eaten five million of them. You beat the other five million by yourself. I know, I feel like I got ripped off. Dude, calm down. Oh well, at least Noxus should have something interesting up his sleeve. I just hope that we are ready for whatever he throws at us. I hope he's ready for us. Let's go. We can't let him escape with the darkness orb. So unfortunately, whatever music is supposed to be accompanying this quest is not playing. Necrotized creature. Oh, it's weak to silver. That's kind of cool. I don't know off the top of my head what song plays here either, because, well, I don't think there was any music the other times I played it. Anybody home? Guess not. Better move on. It just occurred to me that Artix still had the cooldown for his Ultra Holy combo, despite the fact that I had to recruit him again. It's really weird. That thing resisted the days. Ouch! Hundred and six. That hurt. <laughs> Kappa Kappa Corpse Fraternity House. Oh, that's good. Suck it. Gotcha. Get you. This is just, or this one is just a cardboard cutout. That's hilarious. How many of these? Are there afflicted with days? <laughs> oh, excuse me, sorry.
This is the building next to the zombie studying building. Still no Noxus. This is the zombie studies building. Alright, it seems like we've reached the end of the line after this one. Ah, good. Artix and Hunter, right on time. Surrender the Darkness Orb, Noxus, and we may walk, let you walk out of Doomwood. Sepulchre has his own ways of feeling, or dealing with failures like you. Give you the Darkness Orb? You could not control its power. I would never even hand it. I would never hand it over to you, even if I had it. You don't have it? Only a necromancer with the power of the Darkness Orb could have built that army. Don't you fools understand yet? Artix, the day that you came, that you and Vale came to the Guardian Tower, Vale brought the power with her. Lady Vale is the Elemental Orb of Darkness now. Um. <laughs> and I alone control her. I had spent months trying to enter the chamber beneath the Guardian Tower, but on that day, the power of the orb, I felt the power of the orb leave the chamber on its own. Imagine my surprise when I fe felt all that dark power flowing from a little girl. I knew that the orb had been chosen, had chosen to bind with this girl, and if I couldn't control the orb, then I would control the girl. After all, I saved her from a town. The town we watched it burn when we watched it burn together. And I began to teach her. Thank you for saving me, Master Noxus. But my brother, I wish you could have saved him too. I wish I wasn't too late. Or it wasn't too late. When you are a necromancer child, there is no such thing as too late. I can teach you if you like. Simply focus on your brother's energy. Imagine capturing it in a bottle. Master Noxus, I did it. I can feel him inside that crystal. Alright, so if that crystal is in fact just emblematic of his soul, the fact that there's a chip out of it is worrisome. Help me. It sounds like he's in pain. How do we help him? He just wants to live again, that's all. We will find a way, Vale. If you become my student, I will teach you all that I know, and we will find a way to bring him back. Do you promise? Do you promise that we can bring Edgar back? It will take much hard work on your part, but yes, I promise, Vale. Since that day, I have been using her, the power inside her, for myself. I had to be careful not to teach her too much. With the orb bound to her, she could easily overpower me. The years passed and I raised her as a necromantress. In time, with her help, I became the dean of Necromancy, Necromancy University, and she became my star student. The whole college subplot, or little backdrop for this <laughs> bit, just cracks me up to no end. Once you two troublemakers are finished, she will be able to rebuild Sepulchre's undead army in a matter of moments. So you never planned on helping her use necromancy to raise her brother? Raise her brother? Necromancy is using dark power to control the dead, not revive them. Necromancy may have that kind of power, but I've never seen it. Besides, how would I control her if I returned her brother to her? 
what would be the point of killing him in the first place? Killing him? He died as a result of the green mist? Do you mean that you... That's right. It was a deadly disease that I created to wipe out that village. Your village. Muhahaha. If I had known that your exposure to the orb made you resistant to my corruption, I would have made other arrangements. Especially considering what a thorn in my side you two have become. All that ends here and now. I will finish you like I should have years ago. I will recreate the undead army. And I will continue using Vale as my puppet for as long as I can use her brother as bait. I've heard enough! Well, I'm glad that she was there. All these years I've trusted you, and you've been using me. I mean, look at him. There's no reason to trust him. Vale, you misunderstood me. Let me make this clear to you. No more of your lies, Master Noxus. I can never forgive what you have done. There may still be hope. But let me help you finish Noxus. With our power combined, this slug cannot possibly stand against us. Oh, this should be fun. Bah, I was going to have to kill you for the orb eventually, child. That was as good as time as any. Come face Noxus and know the power of a true necromancer. Let's go ahead and heal first. I forgot he has minions. Okay, well we're gonna smoke screen up first. Um, Artix, go ahead and hit them with a multi-attack. And summon undead minions to attack. Command your foe to halt. Drain health and mana. We'll just... We'll just do that one first. Oh, he has minions of his own. Well, besides the ones that are already on the field. Hopefully Wild Daggers doesn't get stuck on the third throw. I don't typically just go straight for the boss, but... I think I'm gonna. This time, anyway. And then just pick off the riffraff after that. Um, go ahead and hit you. Hmm. Oh, Artix is taking a lot of damage. Um, go ahead and hit him. With... Yeah, suck it, Noxus. Although it is a tad anticlimactic to kill the boss and leave his minions. <laughs> oh well. Oh, I should have used Restore. Whoops. <laughs> I like that she just hits them with a very quick, like, Valencia-style kick there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and restore. Mmm. Ow. Ow. Uh. There we go. Gotcha. Ow. Ta-da. 
Thank you for your help, Vale. Save your thanks. Noxus is defeated and the necropolis is empty. That's enough for now. But the darkness orb, what will you do? We'll continue trying to find a way to save my brother. I believe that the key is in necromancy. Will you stay here at the university? No, but the necromancy university has been here for centuries. Another master will come along and claim it. I know that you and Sepulcher both need the power of the darkness orb, and I know we will meet again. Just be ready for me. Next time that we meet, it may not be as friends. I'll be ready. Farewell, Vale. Farewell. A few weeks later. Hello. <laughs> Sally. <laughs> the girl from the... Tossing the zombie bits. This will make the best dollhouse ever. And it's all mine. You've defeated the Dean of the Necropolis, and foiled his plans to overrun Doomwood with an army of the undead. It's hard to say if Vale is friend or foe, but either way, the Darkness Orb is hers for now. Well, better hers than Sepulchre's. Oh, uh, we'll pass on that, I suppose. Um... So, there's like, a couple of extra quests that he has for us. If we... Uh, I forget what exactly. TA's challenge. And extra credit. Moonridge has another small, okay, large problem. Looks like Noxus's most talented students were working on an extra credit project for his advanced monster creation class. I think this might be the dragon fight. Anyways, after we defeated Noxus, I was poking around in some of the undead labs, looking for leftovers, and I kind of set it loose. Everyone makes mistakes, right? <laughs> Weak smile. Oh, yeah, okay. So, uh, summon dragon and fight. We'll give this a solid shot. Oh, man. Elementize my... Oh, whoops. I don't imagine this going too smoothly here. Okay, that was a really cool animation, though. This is a very cool design, I'm not gonna lie. This thing has like double my HP, though. That's a. What's this thing called? Skeletitan? That's funny. Um, do that next. Ha! Suck it. You missed. You missed me again. Uh, smash. I might be able to pull this off. It's looking pretty decent. Ouch. Let's see, because if I can uh, defense up again. Hit it with this. And then stun him again. Excuse me. Haha, <laughs> you missed.
and you missed again. But man, the animations on this boss are really cool, though. To be completely honest, I like it a lot. It was a really sweet design. <laughs> it's got like... Looks like six legs all together. And then like... Five forearms? I don't know. I'm not exactly doing an exact... Oh, there we go. Ta-da! You have destroyed, destroyed the Skeletal Titan and ruined any chance for Necro U students to get extra credit. <laughs> I hope you're happy. Well, I, I defeated their Dean. They weren't going to get that credit anyway. Um, and then... Whoops. It's real quick, just... Equip these things again. that silly little cape. Well, make it invisible, that is. Ardex has one more quest that I just kind of ignored before. TA's challenge. We may only get one chance to defeat this evil. We need to know more about what's going on down there. Since I cannot seem to control myself around those monsters, I need you to sneak back down and see what you can find out. You there, student. Don't I know you? Uh, no. I just transferred from Necromancy State. Ah, oh, our ancient sports rival, the fighting corpses. Between you and me, I don't get what the big deal is. Zombies don't make very good br don't make very good brain ball players. Sure, they can take a hit, but they just don't run very fast. Anyway, I need a student assistant for my current project. I've reworked the Doom Crawler. I need you to test his power levels, select the highest difficulty that you think you can handle, and try to defeat it. If you do well, I'll reward your efforts with extra credits, and maybe an item. Uh, let's just go with the basic version, and we'll just do simple. I only really want to demonstrate what it is. I don't want to do the maximum. Also, I <laughs> uh, a Sneevel riding a skeleton is hilarious. By the way, it's like a skeleton spider. Well done. I'm impressed by your fighting ability. Thanks. Maybe you should try out for the Brain Ball team this season, eh? Would you like to send me, or, uh, would you like to help me test more? I think you can handle the next level. Uh, sorry. Uh, we're gonna pass on the Undead Slayer badge. And that. So, there's two more quests here, but, uh, you can't do them yet. Those will become unlocked later, after we meet a different character in the story. But, that brings the Dark Orb quest to a close. I thoroughly enjoy that quest still. I enjoyed going back through that, to be honest. That was fun. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you for watching, and until next time, follow me to Apex.